Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Cardano using logarithmic regression. After that, we're also going to look at its valuation against USD, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go for 280,000 subscribers. Let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are, we have our regression chart for ADA. And this one is actually about a month old. I, I like to show some of these charts the last time we show them on the channel so that we can see where we've come in a relatively short period of time. When I first made this chart, by the way, it was actually, it was actually back over here in 2019. So you can see how far we've come in a relatively short period of time. Now, the first caveat to a chart like this is that unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, we don't really have nearly as much data for ADA to, to have as much confidence in our logarithmic regression bands and the, and the manner in which we may scale up them. And we'll show you some examples later on for Bitcoin. So where are we? Where were we? This is what had happened last video, the video before that one on this topic, we were at this blue line. Since then, we've continued to move up and we're now between the orange and the yellow line. The idea behind logarithmic regression is that the more rapid growth happens early on, followed by sort of diminished growth over time, but it doesn't mean you, you can't have uh, fairly impressive price rallies. For instance, if we were to go up one more regression band, then we would be flirting with a valuation of ADA of approximately $2.50. If we were to go up, say, to the green regression band at the current valuation, we would be looking at approximately a $4 ADA. Note that this is a logarithmic scale, so each major tick is a modest 10x, okay? So 10 cents, a dollar, $10. Now, why do we use such a chart? Well, again, for ADA, it's harder to use because we really don't have a whole lot of price history, and then therefore the, the whole chart looks a little weird uh, just because of how quickly it accelerated early on. But if history is any indication of what is theoretically possible with Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's that we're probably not going to be able to reach the same regression band that we reached from the prior cycle. So the prior cycle regression band peaked at just over a dollar. Now, if we were to go, if we could go to the peak regression band uh, that we went to last market cycle, then that would lead to a current valuation of ADA of approximately $20. And I just don't see that happening this early. Now, a common misconception with some of my prior videos is that I said I don't think that ADA can go to a $1 trillion market capitalization this market cycle, okay? So a lot of people have said, well, you know, you're saying that it'll never go to that. That's not what I said. The entire video and the videos that we've been doing on ADA are for this market cycle. I've never done a projection video on ADA out more than this market cycle. I think there's too many unknowns. We really do not have a lot of data for ADA. It has not even experienced a full market cycle yet. It, it launched at the very end of the last bull market. So simply put, we do not fully understand what it is capable of, but if history is any indication using Bitcoin and Ethereum as an example, then the chances that we're able to go to the same logarithmic regression band that we made it to at the peak of the last market cycle is somewhat slim. That doesn't mean we can never go to $20 ADA. If we do go to a $20 ADA though, I imagine it would be years away. Okay, because we might not be able to make it to this blue band in this market cycle, and maybe not even this red band, but even this lighter blue band right now is still coming in at around four to five dollars, and in a few years it'll be over it will be over ten dollars. So like everything, assuming the projects you're investing in are worthwhile and have a role to play, and I think Cardano does, then I think time is on our side. Now there's going to be phases during the cycle where we could have significant corrections. There's going to be bear markets, despite what others might tell you. There will be times when the valuation will come down. And that's when you're gonna have to dig deep and stay diligent, stay disciplined to what you think will sort of usher in the next era of, of cryptocurrency. And so that's why I always say, you really should focus on projects that you think will stand the test of time because many of them will not. And this is why ADA was one of the projects I picked early on, because if you look at the cryptocurrency history, there were a lot of coins that peaked in 2013 that didn't do anything in 2017, or their peak was maybe 20 to 25% of what their 2013 peak was. In the same manner, I do think there will be coins this market cycle that never reach their prior all-time high 
from 2017 or 2018. But fortunately, we spent a lot of time over the last, during the last bear market and accumulation phase, picking out the main coins that we thought would stand the test of time, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA, and DOT, and then there's a few other ones I cover occasionally on the channel. The reason we cover these is because I think these will stand the test of time. And fortunately for us, ADA has already broken through its prior all-time high, showing how strong of a contender it is. A lot of coins still have not broken their prior all-time highs from 2017 and 2018. But I think the, the major coins that will have a role to play this cycle have already managed to do so. I understand that ADA has pulled back down to $1.20, but it did not stop it from going to $1.49 or so a few weeks ago. And so because it's already been able to do that, I think that is actually relatively bullish. I've always said, go with the racehorses and drop the donkeys. You know, ride the winners, drop the losers. And in my book, ADA is a winner for the duration of the market cycle. Now, from here, I wanna talk about the charts because this is the Bitcoin chart and you might say, well, why can't it go to the prior regression ban? The idea for Bitcoin is that it's never been able to go to the prior peak regression ban from a prior market cycle. It tends to drop down some, okay? And because of that, I'm sort of projecting out the same thing for ADA is that it probably would be unable to make it to the same regression ban that it made it to during the past market cycle. Although the, the data on that is fairly limited because it launched at the very end of the bull market. So we really do not know fully what it is capable of, but this is why I would err on the side of caution as opposed to thinking it can go to $50 or something like some people are calling for. It just seems like it would go completely off, off the chart uh, in terms of what we've seen. And that's why I want to caution people against falling for something like that. It doesn't mean it can't eventually go to that, but I think we'll have to play that one market cycle at a time. So if you look at the ADA valuation right now, we're essentially still consolidating above $1. And this might not seem that impressive to many of you, but I can assure you that for the people around in 2017, the fact that we're just chilling above a dollar is actually fairly significant. Last market cycle, we only had a, a, a wick above this. We never even had really any weekly close as well above a dollar. Now we're just chilling above a dollar. Now that does not necessarily mean we can't come back down, I've often contended that if history is any indication for Ethereum, right, with Ethereum testing, and by the way, this is a regression band for Ethereum, this one uh, you can see sort of goes up to this peak one right here. But if history is any indication for Ethereum, then we know that we can have substantial corrections back down to our bull market support band, which again is just the combination of the 20 week SMA and the 21 week EMA. So because of that, we've seen that with, we saw that with Ethereum last market cycle, right, where we had these 60 to 70% drops back to the 20 week moving average. Uh, another one over here. At one point, we even went below it briefly. Um, between October of 2016 and January of 2017, we briefly dipped below it, representing in hindsight a key opportunity to maybe reaccumulate at levels of undervaluation, especially when it was under the bull market support band. And then so we look at ADA and we say, well, the last time we tested it, was around October or September, October, November in the 10 cent range. We then moved sideways into it closely, close up, close to it at around 15 cents. And since then we haven't actually tested it. So my guess is that at some point we will test it. I don't, I'm not saying it's going to happen today. Uh, ADA could continue to rally for all I know. I do not know what will happen in the short term. I think it's geometric Brownian motion, a random walk. We cannot accurately and consistently predict it. But if we did have a correction down to the 20 week moving average, you should know that currently that's at 61 cents and the 21 week EMA is at 72 cents. However, these are moving up relatively quickly. So as long as we keep consolidating, then each and every week we will continue moving up. So in that sense, again, time is on our side. Consolidation is not a bad thing. It just represents that people are coming in, they're, they're still accumulating. Uh, this is fairly extended for, for my taste, but it doesn't mean that, that some people that are coming in late aren't trying to accumulate a position in the hopes that it continues moving up, which I do think ADA will move past a dollar at some point this market cycle. I don't know how soon that will be. If we look at the ADA Bitcoin valuation, you know, I, I would say it's still more or less just business as usual. We still would have a long way to go to even reach prior theoretical limits that we saw last cycle. This would represent about a 100% move to get back to the ADA valuation against Bitcoin that we saw in April of 2018. And if we look at the ADA Ether valuation to get to the same valuation that we saw in say December of 2017, we would still need to go up approximately 109, 110% against Ethereum. So 
I would say there's still theoretically some upside room for ADA without breaking any of the past valuations against Bitcoin and Ethereum. We know that with the logarithmic regression bands over the duration of the market cycle, there's still theoretically is to room there still theoretically is room to move up. And we also recognize that it will likely be a bumpy road. We will not monotonically go up as you can see today. I'm sure there's some people that bought ADA at $1.49 and are and are somewhat frustrated that now we're sitting at $1.21. But I, I'm here to say that you know, even if we do drop back down below a dollar and consolidate, I do think that time is on our side for ADA for the duration of the market cycle and that you just need to be patient in the same way that people who were patient with Ethereum last market cycle were ultimately rewarded. But at some point, you know, taking some profits off the table and diversifying it into something a little bit safer is not necessarily the worst idea, especially if you're up considerably. For instance, there are a lot of people today that are already up 60x because we were buying it at two and three cents. And so to see it at $1.21 is, is quite an attractive price to take some profits. Now that doesn't mean that that I, I, I that doesn't mean that I would assume everyone's completely selling all their ADA bags. I still own a lot of my ADA and I'm still prepared for a lot of the upside potential. But if you imagine if the price were to continue to go higher, say two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, seven dollars, the people that were buying it over here, imagine the selling pressure they're going to provide on the market. And then at that point, even the people that were accumulating it here and here and here will also continue to provide selling pressure on the market. And then at some point we get to the top, we look around, there's no one willing to buy the bags of the people that are maybe up, you know, 100x, maybe more than 100x, maybe several hundred x, depending on how high we go. There's not going to be the people to buy the people, the bags of the people that were buying here. And at some point, there's just not a new money coming into the space to offset the fact that so many people are up so significantly that they want to take profits on their investment. So I think this is a journey. And uh, we'll be here every step of the way. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember the altcoin season sale for the premium list is ending tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the last day to do it. So we'll make sure that people tomorrow can still sign up for the altcoin season sale. Make sure you guys check that out if you want access to the weekly reports, the weekly videos, the Into the Cryptoverse app, the Risk dashboard, the Telegram chat room, the Telegram alerts channel, the trading view indicators, the premium only live streams. We've also done, we also have two premium videos a week now. We have the one on the weekend and we also have a Wednesday roundup where we sort of just go through the markets. But if you guys want access to all that and you want to lock in the lower rate, make sure you do so in the next day or two. The prices will go up, but you can lock in the lower rate as long as you do not cancel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 280,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Click the bell icon to turn on your notifications. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.